Top Dance is set I, vaguely in like small town New England. I don't really quite know when, maybe like 80s, but it's kind of a bit all abstracted, a teensy bit. Um, but so there's a dance teacher there um, named Martel, played by Jim Fletcher, and then his longtime accompanist in the classroom is played by Paul Pontrelli, and the character's name is Joel. We don't get too much into their backstories, but it's implied that they've worked together in this small town um, tap dance studio for a while, and um, Joel plays the piano while the classes go. And then Jess Barbagallo plays like a young transgender high school student who's taking tap dance. That character's name is Lee, and Lee's coming for their solo class with Martel. And then it's all sort of disrupted by this fourth character played by Liz Dement named Brendan, um, who's got sort of this vaguely unknown tie to Martel in the classroom. And it's sort of unclear a bit what that is, but like it's clear that there's this old relationship with Lizzie and this dance studio. And she shows up and sort of throws everything out of whack in the like hour that we see Lee trying to have their solo class. The tap shoes themselves make this amazing rhythm, even when they're not doing a tap dance. So it's been really exciting to just be pacing the show in a way I didn't even anticipate just about how the actors even move around, because they wear tap shoes the entire time. So you have this whole other literal rhythm, even when they're just walking. 